What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, giving it today with another Destiny 2 video for you. I know it's been a while, I've been busy, and I've also been playing the game and trying to level up and do bits and pieces. So, Season of Dawn is um, is upon us, and it means that loads of things are going on. Um, new things to do, new grinding elements to do, so what do I do? I, I put PvP on in the background. So, there's, there's loads of little quests and bits and pieces to do. There's the obelisks that you need to get, charge them up, do the little bits and pieces to go with that. Loads of little mini quest lines to go. And as we all start with the new season, we all get the new energy scout rifle, which is the symmetry. Um, so, it, it kind of pretty much does auto fire straight away. It's arc. And then if you hold down the X button, uh, it can then do tracking shots. But the best way to do that is to get it so you get the times 15 on there and then do it and get it to go. It's not bad in PvP. It's okay. It's it's a, I might say it's a PvE weapon. Um, also as well, um, I, I, I would just like to um, respectfully request um, who who decided that it was going to be um, R-Blast everywhere in PvP, by the way. Because I was getting my arse handed to me in pvp with uh, with that amount of bullshit that was going on it was just constant non-stop all the time just ridiculousness so what we also have in the uh, in the season of the dawn we've got loads of new bits and pieces that we can do so we have the if you like it the the latest installment of um uh, of what was it that we had the the vex offensive and now we've got so it's it's the re re repair the sundial so it's the sundial section that we've got now which is like the new version of that um you can it's a good way to go and get weapons it's a good way to go and get stuff to do it's a little bit tougher than what i expected it to be but it's not bad i, I don't know how i feel about it i don't know how i feel about season of dawn um i <laughs> Yeah, it's we're grinding again to get light levels up, which is always good. It's always nice to have new things to do. Can't help but feel that it's still a little bit of just recycled content again with maybe a few changes on. It's going to be interesting to see once everybody has completely upgraded their um, uh, the, your little um, uh, what is it, the little talisman thing um, for void because it is void. <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be a void doozy, I think, in this one. And apparently warlocks are gonna be OP as hell, so it should be interesting to see how that one works out. But overall, it's yeah, it's nice to have new stuff to grind towards again. It's nice to now that kind of like soft cap, if you like, that came in that stopped us from getting higher levels straight away once you hit it. So only being able to do it via Pinnacle Gate. It's nice to see that that's kind of moved, kind of move to one side. Um the one thing that I would like to say is I get destroyed by our blast again, is um, it's nice to be back on Mars and have stuff to do on Mars, but it would also be nice if they um, allowed us to ride our sparrows on Mars. It's annoying having to run around all over the place. So, yeah, it's. I like the little sandbox changes as well that they made to um, or the overall visual aspect of the way that the season pass is done. Battle pass, whatever you want to call it. I'm happy with that. Um, it's nice to see some new weapons. We must have done pyramidium about nine million times now and obviously using symmetry in that is is quite a lot of good fun it's um it's an interesting it's an interesting thing you, you charge it all up to 15 and all three of you get it to 15 and then you just blast the crap out of the boss with it it's just interesting to see how it works the amount of damage that it does but it's it's a lot of good fun i do like it but again i'd probably maintain that it is a pve weapon rather more than a pv P weapon? I don't know. I watched Frostbolt doing it. He was kind of unsure in terms of the way, the, the consistency of the fire rate of it. So it's it's kind of difficult to say. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this one turns out. What what's going to be going on? I'm I'm now at the part now where um, we've gone round and shot all the little vex things, the little vex cubes, um, and now we need to do or I need to do sundial sessions again. Um, just to, I don't know, it's the next quest step, so God knows what's going to be at the end of that quest. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that they've got new stuff, but I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not, um, I'm not what you would call probably, you know, beside myself with excitement. It's, it's difficult to be beside myself with excitement. Um, and I've got the perfect paradox. That didn't take too long to get. It wasn't difficult to get that, actually, in, in all fairness. So, pleased with that. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this one turns out, what what happens with it, the way that it affects certain elements of the game, and just, you know, it's nice to be grinding to higher light levels again, and it's nice to have something to do that is 
sort of slightly more complicated than how it has been because you get to this stage with something where you just go I'm getting bored with this now and I was starting to get like that so it's nice that they're drip feeding us with content how are you feeling about Season of the Dawn so far? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to do it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to click the like button. New to the channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. We out of it. Take it easy, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.